Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dude. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers you've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Alright, green people losing the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your hands, not fight. plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Opens with the inside leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful strike. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. 
being very active. Oh, huge block! Big knee there. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back in range. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times with the face. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice jab. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, a huge block there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Beautiful leg kick punch. Nice punch there. Blocks the shot. <laughs> Connects with a right. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in turn. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Three minutes to go. Slips down. He hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very bad again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He saw it every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big punch lands through the middle. And he landed the right hand there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Swing and a miss with that punch by Choi. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. 
now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more action. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys. Oh! Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch, Lance. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just over three minutes to go. And a miss with the right hooks. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now, certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.